With Coach Care, I've been chairman for the last eight and a half years, but already had involvement uh, on the committee before that and as a facilitator before that. So probably all in all, 10, 11 years. A courage to Care is perhaps different to other programs, uh, particularly uh, uh, programs uh, offered, uh, for example, by a, a Holocaust uh, museum, because we are focusing on what I always describe as the only good thing that can, can have been demonstrated during the time of the Holocaust, and that was the actions of the righteous and other people, perhaps who were not recognised as righteous, the people who did good things in those terrible times. And not just presenting it as a lesson in history to uh, the young people particularly who come, uh, come along, but uh, rather that that is an example or the example of moral and ethical behaviour. And it is just as relevant in circumstances in our world today, in their world, in their communities today, as it was under the terrible circumstances of the Holocaust. Our program is, uh, in Victoria is a four-part program. Initially, uh, the students view a film that gives context to anti-Semitism, to uh, the Holocaust in general, to the actions of uh, the righteous, to Jewish resistance, but also focuses on the fact that all of it happened because so many people choose, chose to be bystanders. And our key words that we repeat and again and again to the students are never be a bystander and that each person can make a difference. So they first see a film. They then hear the personal experience of a survivor of, a holo of the Holocaust. And the survivors who talk to the students who come are all alive today because someone had shown the courage to care. Our evaluations show that uh, the exhibition and their participation has an enormous impact. The final stage of uh, the program for us is a facilitation session where the students sit in smaller groups with trained volunteers to discuss what they've seen, heard and learnt, but particularly to put the spotlight on their lives today and what the meaning is of everything they've seen in their lives today. We are trying to empower those individuals that in their lives they too can make a difference. And the feedback that we get from students and the comments that they put on the evaluation sheets that we give them show us again and again that that message gets through. They certainly learn something of the Holocaust but they also take away the message of the important point that they can make a difference. Uh, why, why was I attracted to Bene Brith? Well, as a, as a teenager, I moved from Sydney to Melbourne and uh, the youth group that existed at that time of AZA and BBYA provided me with social uh, connections. Uh, but it also went beyond just uh, social. We, we organised activities that, when I look back, were pretty amazing for, for snotty little 15-year-olds to, to be organising. Um, after that, I had a break, and when my wife and I married, we rejoined uh, B'nai B'rith much later. And the core values of B'nai B'rith uh, are benevolence, uh, brotherly and sisterly love or f fellowship and harmony. And when I think about it, the core values of uh, the courage to care message are essentially those. The idea of trying to work towards a harmonious society of fellowship between different people. Um, uh, that they're the fundamental messages of Courage to Care. So it's a natural, to my mind, it's a very natural project for B'nai B'rith to be auspicing and for, to attract other people who have those values. Uh, Australia is a multicultural society. It uh, has provided tremendous, uh, a tremendous life for me. And this is one way that I feel that I can repay something to Australia for the life that I've been able to enjoy and I'd like my children and my children's children to be able to live 
in this sort of harmonious multicultural society. But it can only happen if one is aware of the past and, so, and how easily seemingly civilised, democratic, intelligent, uh, achieving societies can descend into chaos. Courage to Care shows the dangers of that, but also shows the hope that human beings have the ability to rise above those base emotions that led to the Holocaust.